So we want to evaluate the definite integral from negative 1 to 8 of 12 times the cube root of x dx. Let's see, this is going to be the same thing as the definite integral from negative 1 to 8 of 12 times, the cube root is the same thing as saying x to the 1 third power dx. And so now, if we want to take the antiderivative of this stuff on the inside, we're just going to do essentially the power rule. You could view this as the power rule of in integrals, or it's the reverse of the power rule for derivatives, where we increase this exponent by 1, and then we divide by that increased exponent. So this is going to be equal to 12 times x to the 1 third plus 1. Let me, do, let me do it in another color just so we can keep track of it. x to the 1 third plus one, and then we're going to divide by one third plus one. And so what's one third plus one? Well, that's four thirds. One third plus three thirds, that's four thirds. So I could write it this way. I could write this x to the four thirds divided by four thirds. And this is going to be, and I'm going to evaluate this at the bounds. So I'm going to evaluate this at, and I'll do this in different colors. I'm going to evaluate it at 8, and I'm going to evaluate it at negative 1, and I'm going, to, I'm going to subtract it, evaluate it at negative 1 from this expression evaluated at 8. And so what is this going to be equal to? Well, actually, let me simplify it a little bit more. What is 12 divided by 4 thirds? So 12, I'll do it right, well, I'll do it right over here. 12 over 4 thirds is equal to 12 times 3 over 4 which we could view as 12 over 1 times 3 over 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So this is going to be equal to 9. 3 fourths of 12 is 9. So this, we could rewrite this. We could write this as 9x to the 4 third power. So if we evaluate it at 8, this is going to be 9 times 8 to the 4 thirds power. And and from that, we're going to subtract it evaluated at negative 1. So this is going to be 9 times negative 1 to the 4 third power. So what is 8 to the 4 third power? I'll do it over here. So 8 to the 4 thirds is equal to 8 to the 1 third to the 4th power. These are just exponent properties here. 8 to the 1 third, the cube root of 8 or 8 to the 1 third power, that's 2, because 2 to the 3rd power is 8. And 2 to the 4th power, well, 2 to the 4th power is equal to 16. So 8 to the 4 thirds is 16. And what's negative 1 to the 4 thirds? Well, same idea. Negative 1 to the 4 thirds is equal to negative 1. There's several ways you could do it. You could say negative 1 to the 4th, and then the cube root of that, or the cube root of negative 1, and then raise that to the 4th power, either way. So let's do it the first way. Negative 1 to the 4th, and then take the cube root of that. Well, negative 1 to the 4th is just 1. And then 1 to the 1 third power, well, that's just going to be equal to 1. So what we have here in blue, that's just equal to 1. So we have 9 times 16 minus 9 times 1. Well, that's just going to be 9 times 15. We have 16 nines, and then we're going to take away a 9. So that's going to be 9 times 15. So what is that? That is going to be equal to 9 times 15 is 90 plus 45, which is equal to 135. 135, and we're done.